now meet artist Ruben Ira Jr., who turns retired surfboards into amazing works of art. I'm originally from Cuba. We immigrated when I was a little kid. You know. Grew up on the east coast of, uh, of the mainland. Came to Hawaii in the late 90s. You know, at that time I was working construction, you know, working on houses, doing all kinds of things. But I've always been an artist. That's where I started working with, with uh, carbon surfboards. I was living up on the North Shore. I uh, was home one weekend and uh, there was an old board stuffed in a hole in the fence. And I was like, let me see, let me, let, let's see what we can do with this, right? So I took the, the fiberglass off and started playing with it. And once I started, I realized the potential, you know, not just the potential of what could be done, but in the fact that it was a, an available resource that didn't cost me anything. It was everywhere, of course. You know, you're up on the North Shore, it's old boards, broken boards, they're just everywhere. But the first piece that I did, I was trying to figure out just how to do it. There was no video, nobody trying to you know, show it. So I had to create all my own tools. I had to figure out the techniques of how to create what was in my mind and make it into a reality. Then it was off to the races. You know, I, it was one after another. I started creating, I started experimenting, I started uh, refining the skill. There's a whole range of things that you have to go through from beginning to end to do something that's a quality finished piece of art. But it's an opportunity too to, to recycle and to reuse things. And on my first board, I used what was available. So, you know, some tools I might have had laying around. So utility knife, uh, uh, exacto knife, blade. And over time, the necessity or what I wanted to achieve helped me create a new tool. So if I needed to get into a corner or I needed to, to sand around a certain shape or I needed to create something, then being that I, I couldn't buy the tool, I had to imagine what tool would work for that specific thing. And even to this day, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe two weeks ago, I, I created a new tool. Now it's one of my more useful tools. It's like, why didn't I create this 10 years ago? You know, and I'm trying to share my knowledge of what, what I've learned, but everybody has their own journey. So I do uh, trophies for the Hawaiian Pro, and also I'm, I create trophies for the Triple Crown. When I first started carving the surfboards, the competition would come through, and I always thought to myself, one day I would have my artwork used as trophies in the band's Triple Crown, and, and then I was fortunate enough to meet uh, one of the people that, that coordinated the whole event. And I showed him my work and, and, sh and she was like, you wanna do it? And I was like, of course I wanna do it, you know? And, and I've been doing it now for about five years. In 2020, I was fortunate enough to do the men's and women's. So I, was, I did a, a, a match set and I've had guys like Kelly Slater win one of my trophies. I've had, uh, of course, John John, he's got, he's got a couple of my trophies. You know, all of these, these great surfers have my artwork, hopefully hanging in their walls. You can see the incredible art of Ruben Ira Jr. and get his masterclass on the art of surfboard at rubenirajr.com.